Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you like the content, consider subscribing. And with that out of the way, in today's video I'm going to show you how to make a water base. Because these things can be a little bit confusing at first. And they're like way, way late game if you unlock them legitimately. I'm in creative mode, so that's probably the best way to build these things because they are very... You, you need a lot of resources to make them, unless you're in a, like a big tribe and you have access to a lot of resources that everybody, you know, contributes to. Anyway, so I'm going to find a nice spot down here. And just to give you an idea, think of like Minecraft, because they're all the same size block. And what's cool about these, and I just started building with these, uh, I want to say, in the middle of last year. So like the last 50 hours of me playing this game, I've dabbled in this stuff. I always wanted to make a cool underwater base, but this is basically what I have so far for my my main offline map on the Crystal Isles. Everything's the exact same block, so you can open up the compartments like so. And you can block off, and you don't need to worry if... That's how you open it, by the way. So you hit triangle button to close it, and then you have to hold the button down to reopen it. That can be annoying, like if you have a little critter on your shoulder, and you keep trying to throw them off, it'll just keep opening, or I mean closing the port. And if you do open it up all the way, your stuff won't get destroyed. It does fill up with water, and they're up. <laughs> they're in water now. Just close it up again and you're good to go. I don't know where my guys went, but uh, he's right there. I don't know where my otter went. <laughs> it's probably over here somewhere. No? Yeah, I'll find him later. Anyway, so yeah, if you accidentally open it, or if you're on a tribe and some jackass opens it, it won't destroy all your stuff if they accidentally open it, or try to be a jerk and destroy your stuff, as I just showed, because that pretty much filled the entire base up with water. So yeah, you don't have to worry about that. And there's two different types of blocks. There's one with a porthole like this at the bottom, and then there's the normal one like this. So the way I built this one, this is how you get in and out, by the way. I mean, you can also open the port, but yeah. And you're going to want a generator, and you're going to want some element. So let me go grab some more element here, because I have a bunch. And I'll put the code in on how to summon an element as well. And if you're unaware of how to access uh, creative mode, I'll show you how to do that too. Because that's not a code. That's So on the main menu, you have to enable to access creative mode, like right here. And they'll put it on the menu right here, so it'll show up on the pause menu. And then you just activate creative mode. And once you do that, you can come over here to crafting. And literally everything that's in the game is here to craft. You can even search for stuff. So let's say you wanted to search. Just make sure it's at the top because sometimes it'll cut it off. So come up here. Let's say you want the greenhouse. You just type in green. Boom! All the greenhouse stuff. And delete it if you want the rest of the stuff to show up. Oops. There we go. So today, and what's cool about the tech stuff, it's like right here. So here's the two items we're using the most today. But you're also going to want a generator. So let's go outside and find a nice spot. See, I was lucky. This is mostly flat. If you want to build it on like a curved spot, I would put one block. I'll show you here in a second. Let's find a good. Yeah, let's go over here. And I didn't realize how deep this was. You know what? I'm just going to build on the bottom. What the heck? Oh, wow, it's way down here. <laughs> And you might want to summon in the tech armor to help you get through the water faster. Wow, okay. So to start, I would put, and it doesn't need a snapping point, it just put it directly on the bottom. At least it should let me. Oh wow, it doesn't let you build over here. I'll have to fast forward this part of the video. Hmm. Well, that's a bummer. Probably they don't want people building down here. Okay, i to find a new spot. Like it's single player, it should let you build anywhere, that's weird. Okay, cool. Loch Ness Monster, nice. 
Alright, here's a good spot. Let's try this. It's nice and hidden. I'm not going to build a giant base. I'm just going to give you an idea of how these things work. I'll probably get attacked, so let me turn on my... Wolverine Claws. You want some of this? I don't think so. <laughs> Alright, so... So just pick one block. See, now it'll let me build. Okay, cool. So pick a block. And if it's curved... Let me... Oops, turn this off real quick. And if it, let's say the train isn't flat, put one block down first. Otherwise, you won't be able to place anything on the floor on the inside. And then build off this block. So let's say you can do this. And this also helps too because you can... Let me put the... Uh, there we go. This on. I forgot to grab element, by the way, but I got plenty. Put element in here. And I won't turn it on yet because otherwise I'll stuck. So for your base, I would do something like this, and you could build like an extra wall around it if you want it to be protected, like so. And that way, if they turn it on, or if they try to get to it, there's all those walls blocking them. I did that on my buddy's server, which we were going to open to everybody, but uh, getting everything working correctly and not having access to, it's it's yeah it's a story for another time anyway so yeah so you, now you got your base now you can build up and this this is like your base floor so think of like minecraft you know you want to build with blocks so I'll just build a big square floor and you can do cool like designs and stuff with these I kind of wish they had cubes to build on the surface as well because then you know just like a and that you can open and close the walls. That would have been really sweet. Just to have something different, you know. Okay, I'm going to make it. Let's see. Just like this. In fact, I think this is a little quicker than building a surface base because you can just... It's like a block, like I said. Make sure you get all these. Get the whole thing built here. Ugh. that. I think I got everything. Is that everything? We'll find out in a minute. <laughs> Alright, and then to get inside of it, you're going to want the ones with a porthole in it, with this one. So typically I just put them on the ends to make it easier, but you can, heck, you can put them wherever the heck you want. So I'll put one of these on each of the four corners here. Like so. And then to activate it, just kind of come down here. And you can open up the, a bigger room. It's really cool what you can do with these things. And as you can see, it turns on all the doors. So as long as you have a power source, it'll keep them from uh, opening up and having water in them. And what I typically like to do is I like to go into this thing, increase it to the maximum radius, if you're going to build a huge base, and use that way. And then I can do this. Since this is the base floor, I'm going to leave this closed. And I'm going to come over here, go into the entrance. One of the entrances. This is the only downside to these things, is you have to open up every port. But it's also cool because you can s section off rooms the way you want. So if you just want a hallway here and then a room over there, you can do something like this. All right. I built a huge underwater base on my buddy's. Uh, what do, you, what do you call it, a server, and I think I made it too big because I, I spent like, uh, I want to say, probably 10 hours trying to get everything ready, <laughs> like have it opened up and everything, okay, there's the entrance, and if you want, you can have your bed in here, but you can, you see what I'm saying, like you could sanction it off into little rooms, let me just open this whole thing up real quick. 
So we got hallways to all four exits. You can have a big room, you can section it off into little rooms. And if you want it to be a big, huge room to fit, like, let's say you want your bear or, heck, T-Rex in here, you can keep building up and just have them all open, because you can open the top porthole. Let me just open it to show you. It's filled up one. And you could, uh, I'll, sh I'll show you what I'm talking about here. Reason, one of the reasons why I like these things so much. I played, uh, what was it, Portal Knights. I, I couldn't really get into Minecraft. I don't know, it's just... There's so many, t to me, I know a lot of people love Minecraft, but to me there's a lot better block building games. And Portal Knights, as far as the block building is concerned, is much quicker and funner and... I know it's way more simplified. It's I don't know. It's just my my brother and I played the crap out of that game. It's super fun. You open this up and to see what I was talking about here. Unless you wanted a bigger opener, more open room <laughs> opener, <laughs> more open room. All right, you really got it. There we go. Oops. I am. Let me turn that off. You're trying to build underwater. There we go. Ugh. All right, open porthole. Oof. Open porthole. What the? Oh, you stupid thing. And you can lock the the uh, doors too, but. If, they're, if a member's in your tribe, it usually lets them open it, so that could be bad. And then, yeah, you could leave it like that, if you want. You could put on, like, a ladder here. There we go. Climb up here. So if you want, you could leave this whole thing open. I mean, these things are here, but it doesn't consider them as part of the game world. So you can just walk through them and build within them, if that makes sense. Whoops. Hey, cool. I can reach it. There we go. My character's tall enough. <laughs> Let me destroy these real quick. There's that. And as you can see, if you wanted a bigger, more open room, you could do that too. So that way you could put like a tech teleporter in here, or the... I'll say you want to put... Uh, I don't think I made it big enough, but maybe this thing. There we go. Yeah, see, it fits. So if you want to build the big stuff underwater, you could truly have a huge underwater base. As I, as I was saying, because it lets you build that. I mean, this might bug you. The beams and stuff, but... The thing is, is you can actually build underwater which is really cool. So if you have one a base hidden underwater where nobody else can get to it, there you go. Is that the shiny one? And it's also really cool because you can see the aquatic life too. That is the shiny one. That's the temporary tame one. It only lasts for, I think, like 20 minutes or 30 minutes depending on your server settings. That's pretty cool though. And he's located on the Crystal Isles map right there. Little nice little extra tidbit, but anyway, that's basically how you build with the underwater blocks, and how to set up an underwater base. It's pretty simple. Just think of like building in Minecraft, but then a bunch of doors you have to open. So yeah, if you like this type of video, if you want me to show you how to build with other things and what other items do, let me know in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching, and stay frosty.